A question I've seen come up is, do I need engineering experience before college? Or sometimes I hear, what experience do I need to go into some type of engineering? So I wanted to make this video to tell you that no, you really don't need any, just to get to the point. I want to make sure that people aren't discouraged from pursuing engineering because of any lack of experience. But I also want to talk about some things you can do to gain experience before college and especially during. So whether you are going into computer engineering or computer science and you've never once programmed in your life, or you're going into electrical engineering and have no idea how to make the simplest circuit and so on, you're in the same position as a lot of people and it won't really have that much of an effect on how you do in college. Now I should put an asterisk of if you have experience it will help, especially in the beginning of college, and of course you should try to get ahead as much as possible, but that kind of goes without saying. Some colleges I've heard make their intro courses a little more difficult to see who really wants to be in the major. So for me personally, I entered into engineering having taken AP Calculus in high school, as well as AP Physics, but those classes were really the only related experience I had to engineering, which is saying very little because those are more of a foundation for engineering. I never was in a robotics club, I never took an electronics class or something else engineering related which some schools offer, I never had an internship at some related company, I never built anything engineering related like a model rocket, and I'm sure many if not most people are in a similar situation as me. So my first year in college when I took my first programming class, I had no idea what was happening in the beginning. I heard the class was difficult and that I was going to learn to program. And in the beginning, I was struggling to write the simplest code. My professor assumed we were inexperienced, but it was just a totally new concept and a fast paced class. It wasn't like going from algebra to calculus. While yes, there were people in my lab who had been coding for years and were done their first few assignments in a matter of minutes while I was there the whole time and still wasn't finishing. But this is more of the exception than the rule. And guess what? That's the deal with engineering. It takes hard work and we aren't all on the same playing field. And you shouldn't shy away from that hard work. But I really enjoyed the programming and learning more. I had to study and practice a lot, but I caught up. I also never asked anyone to just tell me what to do on a program. I knew I had to figure out these programs on my own, and this is something I advise to everyone. Do everything you can to complete problems without anyone helping you. If your program or your problem is correct, make sure you really know why, and if it isn't, try as much as you can to figure it out on your own before asking for help. And if you do get help, do another similar problem completely on your own to make sure you fully grasp the concept. If you don't learn some of these topics on your own, it's very easy to fall behind and it's important not to do this because college moves very fast. But for those who want a head start on college, even in a small way, one thing you can do is try learning the basics of programming. This doesn't apply for all engineers, but does for many. Teaching yourself C or Python or some other language will help in the beginning for those going into software engineering, computer science or computer engineering, as well as electrical engineering. And learning a little bit about MATLAB programming would also help for people going into mechanical or aerospace engineering or even biomedical engineering and more. You will be using that a lot in college. And this is just something easier to do because all you need is a computer where you can find tutorials, rather than building mini projects to get some hands-on experience where you need equipment. If you're in high school and are willing to branch out more, you can always join some program at your school, a very common one being a robotics club. I've seen those students who get hands-on experience with circuitry, microcontrollers, and other hardware, as well as some programming experience. Another thing to note is that there are companies that offer paid high school internships. I found this out in high school when all of a sudden my friends were telling me they were working over the summer at an engineering company and getting paid for it. I had never known this in high school, so that's something you can think of researching. And another reason I say to go for internships as soon as possible in college, because if they have high school students for interns, then they definitely might hire first years or second years. Also, there are engineering programs put on by companies and even universities over the summer for high school students who want to get a head start in engineering. You get to tour engineering labs and see projects that students are doing, and you get hands-on practice yourself to engineer something taught by grad students or professors that you may showcase at the end of the summer. But now, once you're in college, it's really time to start gaining as much experience as you can. You're gonna most likely do a lot of labs in college, which you should be putting on your resume, at least all the big ones. But you should be branching out to get some extra hands-on experience. And those are the people who I saw get ahead in school. The ones who in the beginning looked into joining engineering clubs or doing projects in some way as early as possible. 
I usually notice people joining these clubs their second or their third year. There are clubs that are building small satellites, ones that engineered prototypes for unmanned UAVs. There were ones for energy efficient cars, robotics, lasers, and more. There will be people at your school working on a lot of things. And even if you do minimal work on a project, getting into that club and gaining those contacts will be helpful as you go through college because you will work up to doing more work on those projects. And there's actually well-known engineering organizations for these engineering majors that you can join at your school that I highly recommend. These seek to connect students with contacts and job opportunities in different industries. You can seek leadership positions and work on extra projects with other students. Like there's the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or IEEE as you'll hear it called, for electrical or even computer engineering students. There's the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics for those majors. There's one for mechanical engineers, civil engineers, and so on. And how much you participate in the activities is really up to you, so it can only help. If anything, you should just at least get on their mailing list to keep up to date with everything. In fact, I recommend you check out their websites and explore a little bit. Also, I knew a good amount of people who were getting internships by their first or second year at big companies by networking or just reaching out. But that one internship, I would often see lead them to one or two more internships then even a job opportunity. That investment early on can really pay off. A lot of students got to know their professors really well, which can be very helpful. A good way is by going to office hours a lot or asking the TA for past professors. These professors are often conducting research and will have students join them. This will allow you to add that experience to your resume and see how more advanced engineering projects are done rather than your labs, which will be simpler, especially in the beginning. So overall, make sure you realize that most people don't have much engineering experience before college, if any. Even for the ones that do, a lot of them don't really have a huge head start because college is much different than high school. So if engineering interests you, don't hesitate to pursue it. If you're in high school, your primary concern should be just getting into the colleges you want to attend. Make sure you're getting a good GPA, SAT, and AP exam scores before you try to get ahead for college but be sure to use college to gain experience and contacts so you have the easiest transition from college to your career as well as have a great foundation and hands-on experience. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.